Do you know, the question that I'm most often asked is, why did Concord fail and when are we ever going to be able to fly supersonic again? Well, I'm here with a man who's probably going to be able to answer that question. Blake Skoll, the founder and the CEO of Boom Supersonic. Blake, when are we going to be able to fly supersonic again? In the very near future. So we are working on our first prototype airplane now. It's going to fly end of next year, end of 2018. And passenger flights aren't that too far behind it. We're looking at early 2020s for our first passenger service. Now, how many passengers do you envisage taking on the Boom supersonic jet? Well, it was often said that Concorde was too small. I think that the opposite was actually true. It was too big for the fares on the airplane. And the higher the fare on the airplane, the smaller it needs to be. So we're at 55 seats. We're at business class kind of prices, business class kind of cabin size compared to subsonic aircraft. Now, the Concorde worked very, very well across the Atlantic from London or Paris to New York. Mm -hmm. You see something different, don't you, for Boom? Uh, well, the world's changed a lot since Concorde was designed. We have a lot of business and that happens across the Pacific, and those flights are even more of a blocker to experiencing the planet than the transatlantic flights are. We're looking at flights like San Francisco to Tokyo, that today that's an 11-hour flight. With supersonic, it can be five and a half. So across the Pacific, you can actually save two days on a typical round-trip itinerary. Now, we're talking about going over the water, but what happens when you're going across land? Because at some point or another, you're going to go across land somewhere. What sort of speeds are you going to reach, and what are the challenges you face with that? Yeah, so uh, the boom aircraft, first of all, it's significantly quieter than Concorde, about 30 times quieter. So there is the potential for supersonic flight over land with regulatory change. However, that said, the baseline is we're going to fly Mach 2.2 over water, which is about two and a half times faster. And over land will be high subsonic, Mach 0.95, so about 15% faster than other airplanes. Plans. And do you see the um, jet being used for other things apart from um, the, the business class passengers? Do you see the business aviation side of it happening as well? Will it go into private hands? Uh, well, we're targeting primarily airlines and building an aircraft that's designed for regular passenger service and airline use. Our, our vision is to make supersonic flight available to anybody who flies. Now, is there interest in business aviation? Absolutely. It's a large aircraft for private use. Will a few people see it as a must-have? I think so.